there. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, is your new partner ready to be in a relationship? Now this is a good question because a lot of people venture into relationships thinking they're ready for something, but they're not necessarily in the mode of wanting to be in a committed scenario. If you want to find out where you fit with your partner, sometimes you need to directly ask the question really early on. What are you looking for? What is important to you? Do you want a committed relationship that eventually leads to marriage, kids, whatever it is you're looking for? If you want to just have a fling with somebody, then you shouldn't get yourself in relationship mode because that's not fair unless you both talk about it and you agree that that's what you both want. But that's more of a friends with benefits situation. And that's something that also needs to be very clear up front. We've all heard the stories about people who end up in these long relationships, but the, their partner is never fully committed. They like being with, with you, they like hanging around, but they don't want anything further down the road. And this is why you need to set the pace. You need to talk about all these things really early because the last thing you want to be is another statistic where you're in these long-term relationships that don't go anywhere because that's not what you're looking for. You're looking for a partner. If you listen to what somebody's really saying early on in a new relationship or a new scenario or whatever you want to call it at the time, you will save yourself a lot of heartbreak because you're paying attention to what they're actually telling you. If you're sitting around hoping for something to be more of a commitment for you, you're setting yourself up for a lot of disappointment. And this happens so often. Listen to what somebody says. If they tell you they're not ready to be in a relationship, you need to hear them. You need to listen to what they're saying. Quite often, we want to make this person that we're really attracted to fit into our life. We want them to just be that that bond that we're looking for. But if this is a continual practice and you keep trying to make people fit into what you're looking for, it's just a disaster waiting to happen. You want somebody that you have a lot of things in common with and who want the same things. You shouldn't actually have to ask the question whether they're committed, want a commitment or not. You should both have already talked about this before you end up in a, in a relationship or the start of a relationship. So often we try to make things fit because we're ready. One of us is ready. And so we let things go. We might be less judgmental, less picky than we usually are because we just want things to flow. We want to make this work so that we can have a committed relationship with somebody. This isn't fair to them and it's not fair to yourself because you're sacrificing who you are to be with somebody who doesn't really fit with you. So things to ask yourself if your partner's ready to be in a committed partnership with you. Are you always disappointed by their actions or lack of actions? Do they plan things last minute with you all the time? There's no sort of prioritizing of you as their top reason for doing things during the day. Is this something that is constantly on your mind and you're questioning all the time about where do I fit with this person? Are they here to be with me or are they here just sort of part-time basis and just enjoying the moment? You really want to know these, the answers to these questions because they're very valuable knowledge for you. This is something that you're setting yourself up for having a life with somebody and if they're not on the same page as you, it's just going to cause more and more problems. And then you're going to start not trusting yourself. If you learn how to discuss all these things very early on, you're going to have a lot less disappointment, a lot less questions, and you're going to know where your relationship is headed. This is extremely important. Another test is, do you find that you're always defending yourself or yourself about your partner? because people have seen things and they've made comments and you defend them because you know, no, no, it's not like that at all. So you're constantly having to sort of speak up for them because what's not happening in your relationship. If there's too much doubt and you're always sort of wondering about things with them and hoping they're going to get better, it's probably not the right fit for you. 
If you've come to this video trying to figure out where your relationship stands, then you've probably figured out that maybe, maybe it's not where you want it to be. And that's okay. But don't hang around in a place that makes you feel uncomfortable, makes you doubt yourself, doubt your relationship. You want to be in a place that's really comfortable and it feels good to come home to. Not something that you're always going to be sitting there wondering what's going to happen next. And it's also really good to do some of your own emotional housekeeping because sometimes we don't realize that we're attracting people towards us that are repetitive and the our behavior is repetitive, so it's bringing those people towards you. Maybe you're not ready for it to be in something, so you are attracting people that are maybe a little bit emotionally unavailable. And this is something you have to figure out about yourself, because it's not always the other person. If you are having anything repetitive in your life that's causing you, you know, hurt or heartbreak or anything along those lines, you want to get to the bottom of it and figure out what's happening. So if you have to ask the question about whether your partner is committed to you or not, then you probably are not in the right place with this person. Please don't spend time with people that you're always second guessing yourself and second guessing your relationship because that's not a healthy place to put yourself and that's not where you want to end up. You want to know that the person that you're with is the right person. Thank you so much for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Leave any comments you have. I always answer you back. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye.